Welcome. I'm Hope Warshaw, dietitian, diabetes educator, author, and nutrition section editor for PresentDiabetes.com. I'm pleased to bring you these video snippets from the 2009 AADE convention taking place in Atlanta, and you are getting to review these snippets in near real time, which we're excited about. And now we have two great people with us, and I just want to welcome them and let them share with us. Um, Melinda Peoples, who is a past president times what, about a few years? 2006. Um, right, from AADE <coughs> and Lauren Bronick Hall. So my first question to you, maybe we'll let Lauren go first, is what do you do in the world of diabetes? At this point, I'm sure you've had. <laughs> I'm director of education for WellDoc Communications, mm -hmm. and Great. really working on leading the clinical educators on developing more aspects of the system. Wonderful, and Melinda? I'm a uh, clinical nurse specialist and diabetes educator by background, and I'm working with WellDoc now as their vice president for healthcare integration. Wonderful. So I know that you two are doing a talk tomorrow. Actually, you it was it? this morning. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's done. <laughs> Very fresh on our mind. Good. So, Lauren, what was the title of the program? Um, an opportunity for educators: the convergence of mobile technology with uh, current healthcare trends. Great. So, you know, share amongst, um, share with us what are some of the pearls that you sure. shared with people. Well, you know what, I'm going to start by just defining convergence. Sure. Because when I moved into sort of working in the health technology world, uh, it was a term that was really tossed around a lot. And I actually got to like it because by definition, it means the coming together of two different ideas. Mm -hmm. Happens in math, happens in biology, but it's primarily happening in technology now. And I'm sure you've got your cell phone with you and it's mm -hmm. not just working for phone calls. It's working for your calendar, your mm -hmm. email. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about the idea that the, the mobile phone is really coming together to be part mm -hmm. of your life every day, then think about what the opportunities are, I think, for building coaching for your health, mm -hmm. diabetes, supporting, right. you know, not only yourself in real time, but also maybe connecting you with your provider. Mm -hmm. I've also heard it, I think it was at this meeting, I heard someone say that the younger generation, whatever that is, I think it's all perspective, <laughs> is like not even really sitting at their computer using the internet, they're, they're going to be much more with their mobile device. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and that, you know, that's, there's a kind of a term evolving for that called the personal area network. Wow. You know, remember Can? we, yeah, oh. we started out with local area networks when you were just working within your office right. setting. And, and then PDAs. we moved, right, yeah. then we moved to kind of the wide area uh -huh. network, and now you're building your own personal network huh. where you connect mm -hmm. yourself sort of interpersonally. And, you know, in fact, most people now are, a lot of people were giving up their landlines. Uh -huh. and right, and that's particularly true, correct me if I'm wrong, with lower income and ethnic subpopulations. Actually, that's true. I think mm -hmm. the now the, about 87% of the people in the U.S. Own, are, are s participating in wireless coverage now. Mm -hmm. And that's very significantly high in the Hispanic population, mm -hmm. the African American yep. population. That was an American Diabetes Association tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lauren, uh, tell us a little bit more about WellDoc and some of what you shared. And then, why don't you start by giving us the website so if people are interested, they can go to it? They can check out the website at www.welldocinc.com. W E L L D O C I N C.com. Um, and what we're working on is uh, mobile applications and really having patients carry those mo their mobile phones with them everywhere and those applications are there for them to enter and track their data. And mm -hmm. through that tracking, as providers, we can really find out what's going on with patients and find behaviors we couldn't find before. Mm -hmm. How frequent is the communication? Uh, whenever they check their blood sugar or check mm -hmm. uh, or tell us when they're eating, when they're taking their diabetes medication, that information can be inputted into the phone mm -hmm. and then providers can really see med adherence, blood glucose checks, mm -hmm. and really see patterns. Mm -hmm. And more than just the data dump, it's really kind of having that process analyzed. The analytics part is really important so mm -hmm. that the provider is not overwhelmed with all this new information. Right. And I, I think hopefully it's overcoming. I think one of the big challenges we've had 
in progressing people's management with this sort of slew of medications is quick titration. I know particularly with blood glucose lowering meds, uh, so that might be helping a little bit. Right, and, and healthcare providers could communicate with patients mm -hmm. through that mobile application. So adjustments in dose, the message could be communicated back and then confirmed by the patient that they received it. Wonderful. So Melinda, um, sort of a, in a more global way about this 2009 AADE mm. conference, mm -hmm. share sort of some pearls, bottom lines for you. Okay. Well, I guess from my perspective, I've been impressed with the technology track. Uh, you know, it, there's been lots of different presentations on web education, the virtual educator, veg, virtual education, looking at how people can implement the AAD7 system to support their data mm -hmm. tracking. Mm -hmm. I think some things on electronic medical <laughs> records. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but I think also the fact that, you know, health information technology is really President Obama's partial mm -hmm. solution to uh -huh. improving the health care in the U.S. I think I'm really pleased that AADE devo do devoted a track mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. at, at the meeting. Yeah, so. it's great. Good. Well, thank you both. Thanks. And um, I encourage everyone out there to listen to the rest of our video snippets and come on in and watch some of the presentdiabetes.com lectures because we're certainly taking advantage of technology, giving you CEs right in the comfort of your home. Thanks. <laughs>